In a previous video in the series, I mentioned about TDD in embedded systems. TDD stands for Test Driven Development, and I showed you a simple code which would allow us to have the red, green, and yellow situations displayed on a uh, MSP430 uh, launchpad from TI and then I improved that in the second version all I'm doing is to call an assembly language um, code and um, in order to call an assembly language from the code composer um, all you have to do is to extern the code I still have the same red green yellow situations and now I've added some tests and test that SM sub zero returns zero, and here we test that it returns one, and finally we send a, a parameter, and um, okay, all the breakpoints are um, disabled, so that's good, and we expect to get the same parameter. In the main, I'm calling the different tests, and I'm first turning it green, and then I'm calling the test, and then I'm waiting to see the result of the test. So I am going to moment all the tests fail this is because I am doing nothing in the assembly functions and in this case I'm making sure that I am actually uh, returning the wrong thing so the first thing I'm going to do is to move a zero R12 register 12 is where the C expects the return value to be so I'm going to Stop my debug session and I will. What I had. Anyway. And this time. The first test passes, and the second test and the third test fails. Next, I am going to make the second test. And in 
this case, the first two tests Interesting. The second test failed. And I noticed the reason the second test failed was that I was calling the wrong subroutine. So in this case, there was an error in the test, not in the assembly language. And finally, C passes, at least in the IAR uh, compiler, for which I have documentation. I'm assuming the code composer does the same thing. Um, the parameter in R12 and receives it back in R12. So if I do nothing, then this code should work. This time everything went fine and it was all green. <laughs> 